This is called a Key Crisp, my favorite, because when you bite it, it has a crunch, just like a grape does. Did you know that Alma is the blueberry capital of Georgia? Bacon County grows more blueberries than anywhere else. The secret is in the soil. This is pine tree country down here, and you'll see farmers go in and cut all the pine trees to plant blueberries because that is the perfect soil, uh, the perfect mulch for a blueberry. They, they like that. And these blues have been around a long time. The Indians were eating blueberries when the settlers came over. They would cook down the blueberries, add milk to it, and make a paint to paint their homes. But the interesting thing to me was Indians did not call them blueberries. They call them star berries. And the reason being, if you look at the end of a blueberry, that's actually the, what we call the calyx. The correct term is calyx. And if you look, it is normally a five-pointed star. That's why they call them star berries. A lot of work goes into producing blueberries. These are started out as tiny little root cuttings. So they just look like little sticks to start with. It takes about three years for a farmer to have enough to harvest. So for three years, the, the farmer plants, he feeds it with fertilizer, he waters it, he tries to keep the grass and the weeds down because that is gonna help this plant to grow. We also have to fight insects and diseases. We are fortunate enough here in Bacon County to have what we call the Blueberry Research and Demonstration Farm. It consists of about eight and a half to nine acres of rabbit eye blueberries, as well as 10 to 12, I would say, acres of southern high bush blueberries. Blueberry specialists, whether it be pathologists, entomologists, um, or weed scientists or horticulturalists can come and conduct their research there. There's always something to learn. And when those pests or problems or issues we have in the blueberries come up and nobody really knows what to do, how to fix it, that's where the University of Georgia and Extension Service can come in and say, okay, we, we see that there's an issue. He says technology has grown tremendously and many farmers use drones to help with their crops. They have technology now that you can fly over a field and actually see the plants and it'll send I'm using different wavelengths and you can see stressed plants. It's not just pests they have to look out for. Blueberries do not like a lot of water. If you notice, these are on a bed. You see a, it's not just flat on the ground. We call it wet feet. Feet. If they have wet feet, they rot. They also have to protect the plants from cold temperatures, and they do that by spraying the plants with water. You go ahead and put ice on it before it hits freezing, and then once it hits freezing and below, that plant won't go any colder than freezing. So you have protected it. You put a shield over it and protected that little plant. From, from the frost. Blueberry season in Georgia is from April to mid-June, and there's two ways they pick the fruit from the bush. Manually, we bring in workers, but they'll have a pouch and a bucket, and they'll go up to a plant, and they will literally, when they're blue, just pick like that. And with a harvester. The driver sits way up there and it goes over this plant. What it does is it shakes them. And the blueberries, because they're ripe, they'll fall off. She says because the berries turn and become ripe at different times, a farmer could actually pick the same row multiple times in one season. Our blueberries go everywhere. In fact, we've been told most of the berries picked here in this area, go way up north. I've heard people, you know, New York, even Canada, say they get our berries. It's farms like this one and farmers like the Wilds that continue to work hard to provide blueberries near and far and help make Georgia number one in blueberry production.